screen that's heavy uh yeah hi guys so what i'm actually going to try and do is stream this to um i'm on my own account so i can't actually do it I'm trying to work out ways to stream this to youtube live as well and there's workarounds we can do uh it doesn't look like it's going to work right now there's potential that i streamed a little video before on to uh onto youtube i'm just being kind of trying to get this set up but let's just focus on getting back in instagram live wednesday morning 9 30 it's every week we've got this workout on a wednesday on instagram and we're over on the facebook page mw fitness uh on facebook uh, every saturday 9 30 a.m for boot camp this morning we are going for this workout uh, that we're doing every week we're pulling one out from the mw fitness online group it's one from actually now a couple of weeks ago every friday we do what's called the friday challenge which is a, just a different style of workout still body weight still working hard but this one is called every minute on the minute it's an m on workout uh, used quite a lot in crossfit and conditioning training we're going to transfer it into body weight training and uh, yeah have a great workout this morning so what we're going to do is we're actually going to work out for 20 minutes in total we're going to split it into two 10 minute blocks the first 10 minutes from starting at zero up to the 10th minute in each minute block we're going to do five burpees five tuck jumps or jumps or squats to scale it down and then five press ups either full or knee we're going to work with good form we're going to work nice and steady just with the working for time doesn't mean we have to do the the, the exercises really quick and with poor form we're looking for good form and whatever's left of the minute after you've done the uh, three lots of five moves there you then get that as the rest time so if you're doing the exercises steady and working through with good form you're probably going to end up with about 20 seconds rest that's ideal uh, that rest time might come down as we work through that's absolutely fine as well we're looking to keep going if at any point you can't finish all the ex exercises in the, in the minute take some time off the next round or skip the burpees for instance and just do the next three so scale this workout as we're going through so you can do it second block of 10 minutes we're going to do plank walkouts so walking out and back walking out and back pause at each end another lot of press ups five again this time and then we're going to go into some jump lunges or reverse lunges and we're going to do 10 in total so really five each side so for this workout, I'm going to get the iPad in just a sec for the timings, but we're going to get jogging on the spot. Let's get warmed up, guys. We keep jogging. I'm just going to pull up the iPad. It's just on charge from earlier on, and let's get going. Here we go. Take off the anti-children password. My kids are great. Just need a little bit of help with device management sometimes. There we are, are we? Every minute, every minute, every minute, every minute. Get it somewhere. It's a standard one. Where are we? One minute between sets, that won't do us. Countdown. That's M1 disappeared, so we'll change that one in a minute. Knees up. Here we go. Just to get a little bit more high knees going. And then out to some jumping jacks enough moving on the spot right there. LJ, just check that Instagram's running, yeah? Just jump off the camera. Bar one, that's bar one. Don't lunge it. Levi's just here. Bar one. My phone. Yep, yeah, that's running. Good stuff. See me moving? Yep. Yeah. Shout out any comments or anything? Any hellos? Um. Great job. Okay, taking this round. We're going to drop it down. Let's get some mobilization going. Head, forward, and back. So, we're a, bit, a little bit later in the morning than my usual 8 a.m. workouts in MW Fitness Online, but you might not have moved very much yet this morning, so it's important to mobilize. Some of you might be jumping across from Joe Wicks, or even better, Craig Michael Fitness. Or from someone else who's been doing a workout and you're jumping into this one as well or you're round two that's cool just 
still do some mobilization. We're going to work through rolling the shoulders back now and forward. You guys are jumping on from blacks will recognize this warm up. I like to keep it fairly standard so we know what we're doing at the start of a class or start of a workout. Arms rolling back, arms rolling forward. The speed that you go at is going to be dictated by how fresh you feel and in my case how caffeinated you are. Third coffee this morning. I always take the first one as it I actually have to have it have it because of our morning coffee chat over on Facebook. That's kind of part of the uh, the deal of doing that, so that doesn't count. But here we go, working through. Nice rotations up round onto the toes a little touch. That's it. And then knees up and round. Round to the other side. Great job. Here we go. Lifting those knees, open up the hips, get the hip flexors warmed up. <coughs> Certainly find that hip flexors are quite grumbly for a lot of people these days. So things like any dynamic jumps, at reverse lunges, can quite be quite tweaky onto these hip flexors here. A lot of people think it's a groin strain, but actually generally people tweak their hip flexors much more regularly. Okay, so that was knees up and round, down into our nice deep squat. Deep squat, that's it. Okay. Billy's involved, but if you saw a video yesterday, Billy doing his burpees, he's been working out really well. Good job. Okay, just while we're down in this deep squat, for me, it's a foundational movement. It's one of those stretches you can do every single day. Set the timer up now, we've got 10 minutes on. It's going to be every 10 minutes. That's what we want it to do. Sorry, every minute for 10 minutes. So at the start, this first round, we're looking at five burpees, five uh, squats, squat jumps, or tuck jumps, and then into five press ups, all controlled, all with good form. So what we're talking about is the best burpee variation for you, leg shoot back, and it can come straight up, or all the way down, chest to the floor, little hand release if you want, and up. You might want to do a step back burpee, that's fine. Just work it through, good form, then straight to a squat, also good form, with a jump if you want, or we can bring that top jump in. So different levels, you can work through at a higher scale and then drop it back as you go through the 10 minutes, then into the press up, strong body, hands back, weight over the hands and thumbs towards the bottom of the chest, knee or full. If that is something you can't access right now, hold a plank 10, 15 seconds and then break. As I say, we're aiming for probably around about 20 seconds rest per round. So good form, working through all the way. For some reason, this isn't giving me a countdown. So if you'd appreciate a little countdown, because it wasn't set up. Here we go. So we're going to get a 10 second countdown. First beat. Five burpees, five squats, jump squats, tuck jumps, and five press ups. Take it at your pace, your scale, and work it through. So, 10 rounds like this. I'm gonna start my stopwatch just in case. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good quality burpees. Here we go. Up, watch your ceiling height. I'm all right. Five foot seven on a good day. Well, what if you jump up? Might just have to jump without any hands. Four, one more. Good quality every time. Five, let's bring that round. Squats, jump squats, or tuck jumps. Tuck jumps, knees up at the front. Land it each time. Control. One more. Five, down. Two, good. Control, press up. Wake it work, feel one. Two, three, four, five. We've got a 15 second break, or I have. Talking through it, showing that form. That's what we need. Getting ready to go again. Pick the right variation for you. Two, one, here we go. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Work it. Five. Top jumps. Jump squats. Or keep squatting. Up to you. Best version, best variation to begin is the one you can do consistently through the workout. Here we go. Strong, tight. Ten seconds rest. So, might just up the speed slightly. I'm going to show some variations as we go through now. Go for you again. One, two. Remember, best variation for you. Might not be all the way down to four. That's fine. You could be doing the jump squat, not the top jump. Good quality squat and jump each time. And then the press up, full knees or hold the plank for a good time now. There we go, 15 seconds off. The bob on the wrist wraps on, left wrist is a bit funky. Get ready, burpees again. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You could be squatting now, that's absolutely fine. Good quality squat as we work through. Two. The press up. If you're thinking, oh, I'm doing a variation that I can do, I can't jump, that's fine. But it feels a bit easy. Slow the movement down, more tension into the muscles. Here we go. Fifth round. Three, two, one. Here we go. Knees up in front. Three. Four. Five. Good. Slow. Strong. Press up. Blow the floor away. Keep breathing. There we go. 13, 14 seconds, in again. Keep working now. Keep squatting, keep moving, keep doing the best variation for you. One, two, three, four, five. Great stuff. Six rounds done, four to go. In again. 
Can you do the best burpee variation for you? That's walk back. That's fine. If you're staying up on your hands at the top, also fine. Just keep going. stuck in the bottom. Your body will take to rest when you're lying down. Keep pushing through. Keep doing the best. Jump, squat variation. Losing count when I'm talking. Let's go S5. And in again. Control press ups. Is a few extra reps here and there. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Land your top drums. Now, if I can take too many extra, one, control, one, two, three, four, five, oh, less than 10 seconds, wow, still going, two rounds left, one, good quality, Bottom all the way, but if you feel like it's not working, check your form, correct it, tighten up, push to a slightly higher variation. What's count again? There's an extra burpee, I think. Oh well. The top two ones together, mate. Count them right. Ups, control steady. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, straight in. That's what happens every minute on the minute. You lose, you drop, you rest. Force yourself through if you can. If you pass the bar, as I said at the start, don't do the burpees. Start on the top jumps or the squats in a second. Give yourself a bit of a breather. Up we go. Here again. That's fine. I've got to count the top jumps. Then what get me? Five press ups then. Control. And again. And again. If you're crazy, hold it for a plank at the end. Two, one, one. Says great job on here, but that's only halfway through. We're gonna flip things around next and go for another full 10 minutes. But that's what we're gonna do is scale the exercises back to make it accessible still. Take away some of the dynamic elements so that it's safely scaled for you to do the next part, whatever that looks like for you. So that is gonna be plank walkout. That's walking out. Little pause and walk back. We'll have five of those out and back, then into the press up had a bit of debate with Hannah when we first did this of whether at the end of the fifth walkout you go straight to the press ups. We'll see how we go. One extra then up, back and out to start the press ups isn't going to hurt. And then we're going to go to jump switch lunges. Obviously, that's still dynamic, 
still going to be hard. If that's not appropriate for you, for whatever reason, be it looking after your knees, you're dropping energy, then reverse lunges. So we're going five, five, ten. Ten switches, ten reverse lunges. Legs five each side, obviously. I'm just going to get some water, <coughs> then we're going to get into it. Media man's on the move. Levi's just popped out. He's sick of Billy as well, so I'm not going to have a crazy face licking incident today. But, uh, you know, it's part funny, it's part pretty disgusting, so that's cool. Here we go then. Walkouts, five. Press ups, five. Jump lunges or reverse lunges, a total of ten. Five each side, alternating. Ten second countdown. Getting ready to go, guys. Walkouts first. I want a definite stop and pause at the end each time. Walk down from the hands to the feet, out to a full plank. Walk back, try not to slide. That's one out. Two out, little pause. Three out. There. Four out. Out again. And at the end of this one, we're going to go into the press ups. Full or knee. Make sure the weight's back. One, two, three, four, five. Good stuff. So, reverse lunges or switch lunges. If you're switching, one, two, three, four. Good control. Land it each time. Eight, nine, and ten. If you're wobbly at all, Reverse lunge is the one for you. Even you, just a little bit of support as a point of reference. Show that next time around. Walk out. Nice. Pause, one. Back we come. Out to two. Back down, hips down each time. Just where, getting right into the camera here. That's three. Walking out. Four. Out again. To do these good form then, it's going to take around about 35 seconds. Then into the press ups. Three, four, five. What would come if you're reverse lunging? That's a step back, slightly forward. Two, three, four. The depth of your knee, five. It's going to depend on your flexibility through your hip, through your knee, and your ankle. Eight, nine, 10, good stuff, here we go again, walking out, one, little pause, bring it back, out again, two, back, out again, three, here we go, four, let's go a little bit quicker, out to five, that's definitely 35 seconds, spot on. Good quality press ups. Up and switch or reverse lunge. Maintain your form as best you can. One, taking it out and back. It's not to make you feel like you can't do it. Take, change the reps if you need to. Just get three walkouts done, three press ups, and ten reverse lunges. Scale it now. Lost count. Let's call that four. It's about right. That's out to five. No, it's not as fast. That must be four. This will be five. That's it, and then set, press up, hands in the right place. One, two, three, four, five. Squeaky floorboards back, which is where the white stuff's coming from. Put some talc on it, apparently that's supposed to be sorted. Hasn't done anything. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Start with the leg. That's ten. Great job. Four rounds done. Six to go. <coughs> Halfway this time. So it's getting hard. I was choking on the drink. Air wants to come up and out and back in. No water. Two. Working through. Three. I'll scale this to you. Make it work for you. Four. One more out. If you need to speed some of these movements up, that's fine. It'll help you get through quicker. In terms of finishing press ups, for instance, go slightly faster will mean you get them done. Reverse lunges or those steps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So halfway in again. Take a little breather if you need to. Skip the walkouts. Start on the press ups. Just scale it round, try and fit it into a minute. Take a minute off. This is an ideal minute to take off. You've done five, before or after. If you need a minute off, you're definitely working hard enough. Flat out, three done. Walk out to the plank, four, back again. And five, here we go. Here, and one, two, three. Four, five, reverses or switches, jump lunges up to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four minutes to go. Walk out and back. Just keep it going guys, keep it going as best you can. Two, good job. Technician's back, still running well. Yep. Three, good stuff. Here we go. Four, and move again. Here we go. Five, control the press hooks. Knee press hooks, if you need. Whatever version is right for you. Five, up to the switch lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Doing it again. Two sets to go. Walk it out. And back. Three, three sets to go. My time always tells me how many there is after this set. He's done seven rounds. Three to go. Three. Four walkouts. Five walkouts. My next challenge here is to keep the protein shake in after the 8 a.m. workout. So far, it's just staying here. We're good. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, two rounds to go. Two minutes of your life. Push through. Take a break if you need it. Jump in at the press ups. If you need to, take a round off. Keep going, finish strong. Three, four, and out. Five, one, two, three, four, five. A little bit quick, maybe missed the walkout, eh? One, did it, it's fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Woo! This is going to say zero. That's in round the last round. No more rounds after this next one. Last round then. Here we go, guys. Really strong. Last round. Little pause. Keep that good quality. One, two second plank at the end of each workout. That's where it does the main job. Stretched abs, stretched core, upper body stacked above the hands. Four, five, hold. Then into the press ups. Knees down if you need to, or just hold a plank for a count of eight or ten. Four, five, up we come. Last bit of lunges. Finish all the set, even if it goes through the belt. says great job 20 minutes of working out every minute on the minute style if you've got through it all that means you've done 350 repetitions if in that you've done oh excuse me 100 press ups a whole load of planks plenty of lower body work great job great job it's all about working at your level getting that progression over time up to these harder versions please don't feel like it's any uh, any bad onto you for not being able to do the top variations you're working at the best level you can today and getting that progress beyond that guys let's stretch off out to the front and uh, it's intense to believe I have, to have a little read on the comments can you see anything good that's um. not too rude from Craig Stretching out to the front, give the upper back a nice stretch. Nothing from Craig. Nothing from Craig. You might still be on his live, that's fair to be fair. Yeah. And arms up, chest up, stretch off these front delts, upper chest, they've done a load of work there, supporting and working with the press ups and all the planks. I'm going to see if I can see myself right um, on here. Good job, Sarah. Good job from Sarah, yeah. Annie. Annie's on. Yeah. Oh, I'll see if I can see myself. I can see. Kate. Hannah. Kate and Rod. Yeah. Yeah, they've been watching. That's cool. Shout out to Chloe. Hi, Chloe. No, can't see my live story, my own live story, on my laptop. <laughs> so that's cool. Arm across. Stretch these shoulders. Bit of front delt. Stretch. Going around into rear delts. All around that shoulder complex. Good stuff. And round to the other side. Let's do the sales pitch, Levi. So. We'll be live again on the Facebook page on Saturday morning, virtual boot camp, 9.30 a.m. It's facebook.com uh, slash mwfitness.net, which is the same address, that second part, as my website. However, on the website, mwfitness.net, you'll find all the details of MW Fitness online. A membership group with daily workouts, seven workouts in that group a week. There's two Q&As. There is bodyweight workout plans. There is banded workout plans. There is the opportunity to get support and personalised programming for you within that group. And uh, yeah, it's going from strength to strength. There's 50 mem members in there now, uh, my clients and new people joining. People doing my 28 day challenge, which is April into the start of May. That will come around again at the start of May. So please like my page. Please keep following me here on Instagram for all the information. Uh, I get a bit bored with myself saying the information is linked up in the bio, but it is at the top of my profile. You'll find, see a thing that says link tree and some letters and numbers afterwards. And that just takes you to a menu of all the different options for MW Fitness and personal stuff as well. We do a thing called morning coffee. And that is a chat about life, uh, family, home, school. Uh, yeah, all the stuff that is happening really in the world and around us and how to kind of make sense of that. And it's just us talking, me and Hannah really, the kids jumping about how we feel and what's going on with the isolation and social distancing and everything that's happening, changing for the better and for the worse with the situation we find ourselves in. So lower body stretches, done one side, done the other. I'm gonna come down into my favorite stretch, that deep squat stretch. 
It's not just my favourite because I can squat really low. It's really my favourite because of how beneficial it is. And over time, you get better at this stretch. You get better mobility of your hips, your knees, ankles. And yeah, that's all good things for health, well-being, and longevity through your life. Great stuff. Okay, good this one. I think you have to keep doing training for at least you know 65. I mean, I know it's not many years for to go, but <laughs> here we have to keep going. So, guys, have a great Wednesday. Hopefully, see you on Saturday. Check out the website. Check out the Facebook page for all the other workouts that I've got going on. And uh, yeah, anything we can help you with, genuinely, send me a message, drop a comment, and uh, yeah, do our best to help you or point you in the right direction. Guys, thank you very much. Have a great Wednesday and the rest of the great week.